Okay, we're going to put together a little video. Got my helper William here. We're going to make a little thing, a little treat for the bears. And we'll show you how to get bears really hooked on your bait site. And we want to put together a little popcorn mix. We already have corn and oil and peanut butter out of uh, that we got ready for the bait site, uh, but we want to put a, a third barrel with a little bit of extra treats. And we've got uh, some popcorn here, we got a popcorn maker with some oil, we got some uh, fryer oil from the restaurant, and some old honey we're going to cook down. Nice yeah, we got that. Some icing sugar. We're going to make a real sweet treat that we're going to mix in with the popcorn and uh, this makes a light. Uh, you know, a light bait to carry in, just to top up and give the bears a little extra treat on top of the, the corn and the other stuff we got going. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, we're going to see what we can put together for you. Yeah. Right on, buddy. Okay, we're starting to make some of the popcorn. So the first step will just be to make a whole bunch of the, hey, what's going on here? Who's stealing? We got a bear cub at the bait already and we haven't even set it up. See how good this is? Bears love it. Oh boy. So first step is going to be make a bunch of popcorn in here. And uh, we're going to fill a big bag, at least that much. And uh, so that's our first step. Once we get a whole bunch of the popcorn made, uh, then we'll move on to making our mix and uh, move on to the next step. All right. Say bye, bear cub. Bye. Okay, we got the car the popcorn maker going here, getting a little bit of a pile there. Yeah. The bear cub is back for some more, so we know we're on the right track. Getting the bait mix just right. So I've been putting a little bit of popcorn uh, salt in there as we go, and we'll be doing the rest of our mix later. So let's just look, see where we're at. Okay, so we're back now. We got. Uh, Here's my helper, we got all the popcorn popped here. So we're uh, gonna take it over and we're gonna put some in uh, all the five gallon pails uh, for our mixing. So we'll just go over here and get that ready. See how far this goes. We'll just put a little bit in each. If there's extra, we'll top them all up. Yeah, there's gonna be extra. Yeah. Hard to say. You might be right. All right. So there we go. We got that done. Okay. We're going to fire up the burner here now. Start getting that warm, and we're going to start to make our uh, our mix. So inside the pot here, if we can get a camera angle in there, we got uh, some uh, bacon grease just left over from breakfast today. So we're going to start off with, start off with that. And when you're doing this, keep in mind you can use anything you have. Any concoction of things, mixtures of things will work. And so what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and William, can you? You want to put these marshmallows in there? Put those spoons down. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, here. Hurry up. Take the whole bag from me. Okay. Just put them in there first. We'll save one for you. Save. Hurry up. You got to well, get them in there. Well, a couple. No. We got. Little couple. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit. We got all kinds of stuff for the mix here, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of cooking oil just to keep this a little bit runny here. Just give it a little extra. Just, you put it all in there. All in it? Yes. So you have another bag? We have, a, we have other marshmallows in the house. Okay. Okay. Get it in there. All right. So we got. So now we got this. So what do we got? Let's slow this down a bit. 
Okay. So now we're gonna add, add some old uh, scrap uh, honey here. Let's see if we can get that out of here. Just some old dried up and crystallized already, so we're gonna get that honey in there, make it extra sticky. To that out of there. So we'll see how oh, it's getting pretty hot. I better turn this down some more. I don't want to end up getting it to caramelize too much too quickly here. And uh, by the way, what I added here was uh, fryer grease from the restaurant. We also mixed some directly just in straight with the corn and a little bit of peanut butter already at the bait. And now you want to. bit more in here. I want to get it a bit runny. And we're... So then what we'll do is we'll throw a little dollop of uh, some uh, crunchy peanut butter in there. Bears love peanut butter. We found that out a few years ago when we had some trouble getting some bears to come into the bait. We put some peanut butter in, mixed it in with our, the corn and Within a day or two, we had five, six pears coming in. So, it's uh, peanut butter is a really good uh, secret ingredient. Well, not secret anymore, but. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep working this a little bit here. It smells really good. And hopefully, we we'll get lots of pears. Here, this William, time. can you sprinkle that uh, juice crystals in there? We're gonna add a little bit of. Fruit punch juice crystals. Yeah, just go ahead, just all around. All around till it's all gone. Top grade organic juice crystals with extra sugar. Not really. All right. What's that? Yeah, you can lick it, sure. Who doesn't want to lick out some juice crystals out of there, right? Okay, now. Because this probably isn't very sweet yet, we're gonna very sweet. we're gonna add a little bit of extra. Ooh, smells really good. Bears love this stuff. Can I smell? Sure you can. My helper. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. So why don't we got a little bit of aging uh, chocolate syrup? We'll just drizzle a little bit of that in there too. It's upside down, bunny. All right, that, and then we'll continue to work it up a little bit, so a little bit more. And for our last ingredient, we're gonna we're gonna add some icing sugar in there. Got it on sale, really cheap. None of this is really expensive. Marshmallows were probably a buck fifty a bag. Dad. Two bucks for the icing sugar. It looks like blood. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna get, we're gonna work this in here, and I may need to add a little bit more of the fryer grease to if it gets too dry, because we want a nice tacky mix for the uh, for to, to mix it in with the popcorn. Okay, so we'll see you back in a few minutes once we got this all mixed in. All right, okay, so we got our mix. We wanna come have a look. We got everything in, we added a little bit more oil, we added a little bit more icing sugar. You kinda of gotta wing it, because it depends what you have for ingredients to add, but we got a nice, very sweet, peanut buttery, oily, marshmallowy, gooey goodness. So now we're gonna add a little bit. We've kinda of made a little bit of a pocket in the middle of each pail. So we're gonna add a little bit to divide it evenly between all of these. So we're gonna go, just get a little bit in there, probably a bit much. 
Well, do I start mixing? You can start to mix that one, yeah. Just kind of pull from the sides and go over, yeah. That's it. Good job. No real wrong way of doing this. That in there. That popcorn sticking to my thing. Yeah, that's what I expected to happen. So that's that kind of why we would need to try to pull. So you're all coming to give you a hand with that. There we go. Thank you, Anthony, my cameraman. So we're going to go like this. Start around so that get stuck on there. So first I'm going to go through all of these, stir them up, and then we're going to add a little bit of uh, corn to the mix. This one's mixing up real nice. Just to firm it up a little bit with some actual, actual corn. Why don't you grab, there's a, uh, grab that green spoon over there, join with and start at the other end. getting it off your spoon. It's going to just keep sticking on. Just keep stirring. Okay, I'll do this one now. Give you a little bit of a hand here. Can, I... Before it's... Can you what? Can you try to get this off? Uh, just wait. I'll, I have gloves on. I'll get it off. I'll leave this in here. Okay, so now it's getting nice and sticky, which is exactly what we want. Yep. Okay, so now what I want to do is firm up the mix a bit and I add a little bit of corn. I'm going to try to stir those a little bit more. Okay, so what we're doing here now is uh, we take this uh, plastic container, see my barrel, uh, my bait barrel for the sweets has about a five inch hole or so, so we have to be able to fit these little bricks in there. So what I do is just spray a little bit so the popcorn doesn't stick on in there. And then we just pile a bunch in there. However much we decide, and then I get my enforcer to pack it down. That's it. All right. Oh man, tough guy. Okay, right on. Wow. Yeah, you get all the edges. All right, and I'll just give it two more for good measure, or three or four, Our and then we'll turn around and we'll go like this. There. And now. We're gonna let those dry like that because the marshmallows are still a bit soft. Dad? And we will we will just let them harden like that and then it's easy to transport them in a bag and just stuff them in the barrel when we get to the bait site. So we will continue on here and just get these all uh, bricked up. Okay. Welcome back. All right. So we got all of these made. So... Nice. So those are the ones we're going to put in the barrel, right? Yep. Yeah. And then what do we have over here? We have kind of the scraps, right? Yep. What happened was uh, I, I probably shouldn't have added the extra corn. I usually don't, but I did this time. And so what ended up, we have a lot of stuff that didn't stick together. So we have a tiny bit in each pail. So what we're going to do is, uh, it's kind of got, still got some candy corn there. So 
What we're gonna do is, uh, William's gonna add a little bit of uh, the leftover juice crystals mixed with icing sugar. We're just gonna sprinkle a couple of scoops into, uh, into each uh, bucket, and we're gonna stir that around, and then we'll just bag that up to take to the bait site. So he's gonna put two scoops in each one. There you go, why don't you just hold that container and take it with you. Good job, just too quick, you don't have to measure exactly. There you go, keep on going. That's it. Just dump it right in. I got Don't have to sprinkle it, just dump it right in. We're gonna stir it around and dump it from one bucket to another to really stir it around well. Okay, so what we got here, we're just going to stir around the ice and sugar and the juice crystals and we'll just mix them together. Nicely coated with that sugary coating on there that we'll just dump straight into the barrel. We're gonna have a few buckets of that left over. Okay. Welcome back again. So here's all the blocks that we made, and this is the stuff that will stick together. So please like and subscribe to this channel. Bye bye. Okay, here we are at the bait site, and we're gonna load the popcorn bait in now. Okay, Will, over there. Just grab some. Yeah, there we go. See, we made them nice so they fit in there. But some broke, sort yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. We'll mix in the broken stuff with it. Yeah, but still the, the bears will still like the broken stuff. For too. sure they will. Good thinking. And then over there, we got a barrel full of corn and fryer grease and, and peanut butter. And over there, we got all kinds of goodies on top of the corn mixed in. Get us going. Okay, Will, come help me get this in here. All right, thanks for watching. Well, well, look up here. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Yeah.